All right, y'all. Cable Guy Ken here with you one more time again today. Then I'm going to get my hammock out and try to do a little relaxing before the wife comes home, throw mistakes on the grill and everything. Uh, went to Lowe's the other day. My son wanted another little folding saw. He saw one he liked up there at Lowe's. It's not the Corona. It's actually made by this company here called Garden Plus. Um, but right beside it, they had a, a little pack. Had both of these items in it. It was a knife sharpening kit or, you know, I should say tool sharpening kit more than anything, but it will work for a knife. Um, it's a little bottle of oil. Now, I can't tell you what this oil is. It has no, you know, no real smell to it or anything. It doesn't smell like a three-in-one or anything like that. It's a real clear fluid. Um, of course, on the, on the bottle, it just says saturated hydrocarbon doesn't tell you what kind of oil it is. There's nothing on the packaging or anything to tell you. So I wouldn't use this on a, a blade or anything, but it worked good for like your pivots on your uh, folding saws, stuff like that. And it's got a little screw on top to keep it sealed up. It's real small. It would fit in your little pack, your uh, tool pack or your repair pack, you know, when you're out in the woods, give you something to oil your pivots and all down on your folding saws and such. Um, but the main thing it came with that I like, like I said, it was like six bucks. It come with this little tool sharpener, which is just a, a piece of carbide on the end of a piece of steel. Got a nice little grippy handle on it. Got a lanyard hole on here. Um, and it does sharpen a blade really well. This is just my little uh, camp knife I made a while back. But you just take it, lay it on there, and you can see it changing the, the color, the way this is shining. So, I mean, it does a fairly good job of sharpening an edge, but now it's going to take a good bit of metal off. So I wouldn't use this, you know, for any any good knives, I guess you'd say. Something like this, you know, I'm not really worried about it. Take it and lay it down on your leg and just kind of, you know, give it a few scrapes. You get all the way down that at the end. I mean, you can feel it gripping that metal and just biting into it. Flip it over. Do the other side there. I mean, you can see it's, it's throwing off metal, y'all. So, I mean, it's not something you want to use on a really good fancy knife. Definitely not like a Scandi Edge or anything like that. But uh, your machetes, your axes, things like that, it'd be awesome on. Um, and it does get a, a, a good edge on it. You can see it's stopping on my nail there. So, I mean, it does a good job of putting a quick edge on, you know, utility tools and stuff like that. But uh, the main thing that it really excels at is your ferro rod. Make sure we up in the camera. I mean, you can see the sparks that's throwing off of that thing with just quick little pops. I mean, it throws off a lot of sparks. Um, and in contrast, I don't even know, this is a carbon steel blade, but I don't know if it'll throw sparks or not because it doesn't really have a an edge. We'll use the sharpened edge. Normally I wouldn't recommend doing that, but so that we can do it. I mean, that's not throwing hardly any sparks off of it. And that is a carbon steel blade. So, I mean, it should throw something off of it anyway. You know, you should get some sparks out of it. See if I can... So not sure exactly what kind of carbon steel this is. I know it'll rust, so I know it's carbon, but this was like an old saw blade that I got years ago to make one of my knives out of. But that little sharpener is a uh, carbide tip, just a piece of carbide welded onto the end of that. I said that thing, I mean, it's throwing, it's still sparking when I bring it back to scrape it again. There's still sparks on the back of it. So I know y'all probably seen these from other people. I mean, you can see how well that works. Just figured I'd show it real quick. Like I said, six dollars, and you got something to sharpen your machetes, your axes, stuff like that. Things that you don't really need a fine edge on. Um, just a good utility working edge, and it works great as a ferro, you know, for striking your fire steels, your ferro steel rods, and stuff like that. Um, and you get the benefit that it comes with, you know, a little bottle of uh, a little bottle of lubricant that's just small enough to fit in your pack good. I said you can find these at Lowe's for about six bucks in the garden center, made by Garden Plus. I'm sure it's probably made in China. Um, 
I didn't really look at the package to see. I just figured it'd be a good little tip to show you something you can put in your kit. I'm probably going to take this and uh, put it on the back of my Mora or my Pathfinder with a Ranger band just to hold it on there. Or I may put it, I may make a little tool kit to keep, you know, these and my other sharpening stones in. I hadn't decided yet, but figured I'd show you that. I know you can get these online. Um, Corona sells one. I know you can find them online at a few different places, but uh, you can get them right at Lowe's for about six dollars, and you get the oil. So I think that's a little bit better deal. Just thought I'd show you that real quick. I'm gonna get my cam hammock out, do some relaxing, and enjoy my time. Cable guy Ken here. Peace out, y'all.